Joan Rivers was an American comedian, actress, producer, writer, and television host. Old meets new in Joan Rivers' former country house. The original low a flat, mid-century modern structure was designed by a student of Frank Lloyd Wright and underwent a major facelift after Rivers purchased it in 2000. I was in New York, right, and I really trusted this man, and one day I was, you know, walking around and I saw a cab, I jumped in as a joke, I said, where can a girl get a little action in this town, and he took me to my husband's office. The challenge was creating a seamless renovation where new meets old. Every challenge was an opportunity to test new ideas or improvements against what was right for the house while also leaving the house more in tune with its new owner. Like children with a piece of candy. They see a pretty girl and it's like, uh, I, you know it. At my own wedding, my husband tried to make dates with two different bridesmaids. An attached garage, mudroom, and laundry were built, the kitchen was expanded and a primary bedroom suite wing was added. My husband had no idea that the hair he loved to touch he could take with him to the office. <laughs> On the exterior, the driveway was rerouted, and an entry courtyard and garden terrace were added. For the most part, it's a new house. The kitchen space worked optimally. Functionality at every level would be imperative, as this particular space would be an essential feature and frequently used section of the home. To this day, then my, my husband still gets uh, Christmas cards in the local motel. I mean, it's just... While first impressions of a room are often based on aesthetics, the real appreciation of a room and its success are in the way it functions and details, such as storage. Morris. Morris was not too bright, right? He was a member of the school band. He played the piano. So for Christmas one year, I went out and I bought him sheet music. Morris connected the dots. Yeah. It
The house should feel country, but elegant at the same time, and very comfortable for a family and large gatherings. There was a sculpted figures from Barbara Streisand's house in Hello, Dolly. In the master bath was removed. Somebody came to me with money in front mm -hmm. and gave me money. And I, you know, for money, you know, you do anything. So I made the record and they lost money. Prior to the revamp, Ms. Rivers described the property as being the ugliest she'd ever seen. However, she was much happier with her home once retail executive Joe Sissio and architect Michael Bowe had worked their magic. The living room, spacious enough to hold twin 10-foot-long custom-made sofas, is a festival of light, thanks to nine French doors, six of which open onto the freeform stone terrace that hugs the back of the house and abuts a lush expanse of lawn leading to the pool and pool house. By her own admission, Joan Rivers was a workaholic, and the octogenarian continued earning up until the day she died. Now the legendary comedian will be missed by those who loved her. You know, I, I wish we had, we don't have royalty in America, which is kind of sad.